Hello, welcome to my auction. Today we have up for bid are a set of TA-312 PT Army Signal Field Corps field phones. These phones are in perfect operating condition as I will demonstrate. These Army field phones can operate with battery power for a distance of up to 22 miles. Included with the winning bid are the operations manual for the telephone set. Uh, what this does, it shows you the, how the phones uh, work, the locations of the different features on the phone. Uh, pretty much tells you on how to set them up, how to maintain the phones in a uh, field type situation, um, how to uh, put the phones on a tree or lock them into a deer stand with their included straps. So this gives pretty much comprehensive information, uh, a really good guide. You also have receive a hundred feet of the field wire for connecting the phones. Um, this phone wire works pretty good. Um, it's a hundred feet. You can do a lot with it. Uh, however, the phones can operate up to 22 miles, depends upon how much wire you have. You also get a set of four batteries for the phone. Um, these are very simple batteries. They're typical uh, D-cell flashlight batteries. Um, you can pick them up anywhere. Um, very common battery to find and this is what makes the phones operate um, on battery power when you're in local battery mode. Along with the field telephones you'll receive uh, in the kit are the two uh, mounting bags for mounting and protecting the telephones. Uh, the bags are in excellent condition, uh, no uh, damage inside. They have an attached strap so you can at attach them to um, a telephone pole or a tree um, in the deer stand, in the kids play yard, anywhere we want them at secure and out of the way. Uh, the bags are in very good shape. No uh, damage to the bottom. Um, the leather. Uh, operation of the phones is pretty easy. Um, you take the phone out of its receiver. It's locked in place here to hold it. And uh, you'll be inserting two D-sized batteries in these compartments. Uh, battery compartments are very clean. There is no uh, corrosion anywhere. Uh, they're in perfect shape on both phones. They also have been uh, protected by a silicone um, sealer with, which protects the battery compartment when the battery is installed for um, protects it against moisture. Um, okay. Again, um, the battery is pretty, these phones are pretty easy to operate. Um, again, it takes two D-sized batteries. You just insert one with the plus plus side up and the other battery with the minus side up and it's pretty easy, it doesn't matter which way, which side they're in it's just that, that one side is up and one side is down and you close the little door to lock them in place inside the compartment and the same with the other phone one battery is positive up and one negative up. Doesn't matter again which side you have them in place. Just close the lid. Um, the other thing too, um, these phones are designed to be set up with an army switchboard. Um, again, the switchboard you can get a hold of these so you can use multiple phones and you'd want to switch this switch into the CB mode which is for the switchboard it, it, what it does is it operates on switchboard battery, on switchboard power, and the batteries in the phone are disabled. But in our case, we're going to communicate between the two phones so that both switches, you want them in the LB, the local battery position, which is right in the middle. Also, you want the switch here. You want to have this on internal. Uh, what this does it switches it to the internal phone power and disables the optional um, connection for 
uh, other accessories. Okay, next uh, you want to hook up the, the field wire. In this case, this is the wire that comes with the phone set, 100 foot of wire. Um, again, it's a very easy thing to set up the field wiring. Um, I've connected it so that this is a four lead wire and I connected two leads together. Um, the black and red lead go to the red terminal and I set it up so that the green and yellow wire they go to the uh, black terminal on the phones. So setting up the wire is pretty easy. There are two push connectors on the phone, the red one and the black one, and you'd want to set up the cable so that the the black and red are connected to the red terminal and the green and yellow go to the black terminal. Now I've already done so on the other phone um, and they're ready to go. So how this works is that on the side of the phone is a crank generator and what it does when you turn this crank on the generator uh, it rings the other phone. Um, this buzzer will go off when I turn the crank on the other phone. That lets the other uh, receiving party know that there's an incoming call and they can hear it audibly. Um, these also can be adjusted so that you can have different sound levels for the um, for the buzzer and I always keep them on maximum sound. So we're ready to go. I'm just going to ring up the generator and it's going to ring the other phone. So this phone here, this buzzer is going off, letting this party know that they have an incoming call. Um, the phones are very, um, again, they're very mechanical, very basic. Um, inside the phone, there are no transistors, just your basic uh, capacitor, circuit, and field coils, very analog type system. Um, this makes the phone hardened. Uh, what I mean by hardened is that they were designed to take an EMP electromagnetic pulse from a, an atomic blast um, if the enemy used uh, nuclear weapons the phones would continue to operate. Um, again, people have been talking about EMP events. Um, they don't not necessarily have to come from just an atomic blast, but um, anything uh, in our environment, even a large solar flare um, from the sun could cause an event to knock out um, all communications uh, from cellular phones, from um, any kind of uh, generators. Everything would be knocked out, but these phones would continue to work because they're very mechanical and the electrical parts of the phone are sealed in a grounded housing and these phones are also um, Faraday uh, caged the electrical so that any electrical dispersed would be dispersed through the ground um, in the event of a blast like that. To operate the phones again it's very simple they're push to talk phones very mechanical um, when you talk to the other party um, you would push the button to talk to them, release, and uh, then you, they would talk back to you and you'd hear them. Um, the phones have <clears throat> something called side tone. What that is is a self-test to make sure that the phones are operational. Um, to test side tone, um, what I'll do is I'll put the talk into the phone and you can hear my voice in the receiver of the phone. Test, test, one, two, one, two, test, test. And the same thing with the other phone. Uh, the side tone on this is perfect too. Test, test, one, two, one, two, test, test. So the phones are uh, fully operational. Um, the side tone is working. Um, I have no problems in saying that these phones are perfect, operational, and ready to go uh, for whatever you, you want to use them for. Um, perfect for a kid's play yard or um, you can mount them in a deer stand. Um, I personally think that they'd be great in some kind of a guard shack. If you have a large property um, and you need hard, hardened communications between um, the outside world and wherever you are, um, these would be the perfect uh, thing to have. Well, thanks for looking at the video and good luck with your bidding.